Hey there folks, it's Yaken here from Trend Ground. Okay, welcome back to another gaming clip on this Infinix Note 12. Alright, uh, anti light light club. Okay, yeah, that's the name in Malaysia, Infinix Note 12 anti light light club. And uh, yeah, so a little bit details on this device is uh, powered by the uh, MediaTek Helio G99 paired with 8GB of RAM. Uh, virtual RAM it can support up to uh, 5GB of RAM additional RAM as well so let's not waste any more time here are the graphic setting for the uh, Genshin Impact gameplay here on this Infinix Note 12 anti light light club okay so I'm actually running the uh, high custom settings over here okay so I just merely just turn off motion blur and bloom over here and we are going to check out the gameplay over here how good is it is it really smooth or whatsoever uh, the reason I'm not actually running everything on high because I do notice uh, the game looks a little bit too not smooth and kind of choppy okay so I think this is the best setup for good visual quality and gameplay as well so come on so as you can see, there's already like some uh, frame rate drops as well. Okay, so let's keep going. Right, so let's just fight. Right, that is cool. Okay. All right, that's nice. Okay, yeah, you do notice like there are some like slight frame drops over here occurring. Okay, uh, if you really want to have a really smooth gameplay, I will highly recommend you guys to. Uh, drop the uh, quality settings a little bit more okay in order to achieve a really really smooth frame rate over here okay so i'm gonna do this cheat again a little bit like most of my videos Yeah, you can see again uh, some choppiness occurred right it doesn't feel like smooth at certain point so if you really want to have a smooth gameplay i will highly suggest you guys to uh, drop it a little bit more okay so let me just try to uh, drop the uh, settings let's go for medium okay Motion blur, turn off. Bloom, turn off. Alright. I think this time, I think the gameplay should be a little bit much more better. Okay. I think uh, going for medium is a little bit better okay uh, gameplay definitely not too much of a frequent frame rate drop over here okay it's pretty good very very nice so let's continue move on to another area okay so we can uh, keep battling and uh, play a little bit longer and see how is the performance like okay you can Notice there are some a little bit stutter a bit here. Okay, good.
Vem. Not bad, not bad. I think uh, dropping it to medium, gameplay is much more smoother over here, okay? You do able to feel the smoothness. Let's climb up. So you jump and let it. Voila! Nice, 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 nice. Okay, good. So let's walk a little bit more. Head back to the uh, statue there and uh, claim back our health. And let's see how is the frame rate. I would say a little bit much more smoother that is definitely some starters over here but uh gameplay here is pretty much solid in my honest opinion over here if you can just overlook the uh minor starters because uh this game is really demanding on any smartphones okay okay that is just that is just talk a little bit about this device okay so definitely if you want to play uh, Genshin Impact on Infinix Note 12 over here uh, yes you can go ahead and play it all right gameplay here is actually quite uh, not bad okay as long if you are not so demanding on the graphic settings you don't need to play 60 frames per second and then I think you are actually getting a really really good performance over here and uh, if you really want to play 60 frames per second, I say just set it everything to the lowest and then just go for 60 frames per second. I think the gameplay will be much more better, okay, in uh, lowest setting for 60 frames per second. But for 30 frames per second over here, yeah, definitely go for the medium one. And uh, the uh, gameplay outlook is still really, really good over here. So how is the terminals? Okay, definitely there is some warm on the device, but it's not really, really warm. Okay, just a little bit of warm. Uh, you do definitely feel it on the uh, sides here. Okay, uh, but it's not really that bad. Just slight warm and I have just like been playing for like what? Eight minutes. So definitely for a long period of gaming with this device, I think it should be not an issue over here. Okay. So guys, that's it. Infinix Note 12 can play Genshin Impact or not. Yes, you can, but at a certain gameplay settings, all right? Yeah, so I'm Yaken here, signing off. And if you're still new to the YouTube channel, please go ahead, subscribe, share the video, 
follow us on social media as well drop some comments and i'll see you guys on the next one okay